What's good guys, welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, and in today's video, I'll be doing something different. I'm putting together a portal inverter generator tier list. I'll be ranking from best to worst portal inverter generators between 1500 watts and 2500 watts. Okay, so before I start working on this list, I want you to understand that this is my opinion. You don't need to agree with anything I say on this video or the ranking of each uh, inverter on this list. Also, this tier list won't be based on price, uh, power output, best bang for your buck. No, none, none of that. This tier list will be based on my experience working, repairing, and maintaining each of these generators on the list. Okay, so let's start by picking up the Brick and Stratton. This friggin' Stratton is going straight to OK. I put on the OK tier because this generator, the design is pretty different. It's cool compared to every other inverter, but that design makes it uncomfortable. Other generators are easier to, uh, to carry. But the main issue I have with this unit is the parts order. Uh, right now I have three Brick and Stratton generator sitting at the shop uh, waiting on parts. For example, I put in an order uh, back in November 2022 for an ignition module, and we are in February 2023, and still the parts not here. It's still in back order. So if you have a Brick and Stratton inverter and uh, it's broken for some reason, uh, you need some repairs you might uh, have some issues trying to get a repair due to uh, parts. It's, that's why, that's the main reason I have this generator the OK tier. OK, so let's move on to the WEN 2250 inverter. This inverter is going to the, to the good tier. Uh, this generator is pretty good. I have no issues with it so far. It has easy access to the carburetor. Uh, for maintenance like i said uh, no big issues so far with this unit so that's why i put it on the good tier same uh with the champion dual fuel that's coming up next this generator i will also put it on the good tier this champion inverter has the dual fuel capability which is great it's a pretty solid generator it runs good uh, i haven't had any issues with it so far that's one of the reasons i have it on the good tier up next, we have the Generac Inverter. Oh, Generac, Generac, Generac. This generator is going straight to trash. Why? Um, I've been having a lot of issues with, with Generac generators. Um, I had a customer that brought one of these, uh, the last one I worked on, I brought one of these in. Um, it wouldn't start. I started, no issue, it was just a clock carburetor. And as soon as you start it, it had that famous red uh, overload light as soon as you start a generator. That's a big sign that your inverter module is fried. Uh, the problem is this inverter modules for this small units cost way more than the generator itself. Uh, I think the board was like $750 for it. So uh, once your inverter goes out on this unit, uh, you, you better off uh, trashing it because it's not worth it's not worth the fixing. Up next, we got the AI power inverter. These generators are pretty popular; they're everywhere, and they are going on the good tier. They are pretty solid. Most of them have that Yamaha engine, which is great. Um, only issue I, I have found with these so far is the spark plug boot. They like to snap, uh, especially if the owner doesn't know how to how to pull that correctly. They end up snapping that boot out, and I had to replace a a few of these on this AI power inverters. But other than that, good generators. Parts are easy to find and easy easy to fix. Okay, so let's move on to the next generator, which is the energizing inverter. I didn't even know Energizer made inverters, and they shouldn't have. 
Uh, the first time a customer walked in with one of these, I was surprised with how cheap their uh, build quality was. So this is going straight to trash. Man, it's so bad. If you even take a look at one of these screws, you somehow strip it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. When you're trying to do maintenance on these, it's, it's messy. It's the front cover falls off. It's, it's ridiculously bad. It's, it's garbage. So I wouldn't recommend this generator to anybody. And on that same note, we move on to the Kippur inverter, which is going straight to trash. This is a Chinese inverter. Uh, build quality is meh. Uh, generator is is pretty bad, uh, especially when it comes to parts. Like they are made on the other side of the world, and I had a few units. I can't find the parts. Uh, I go to this Chinese sites, and it's so sketchy that I I, I don't order them because uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna get. And then uh, I found a, a couple of them through eBay. I uh, I've ordered uh, voltage regulators and, and and some boards and to this day I still haven't received anything. So uh, I, I don't recommend this Kapoor's inverters. Uh, I don't even know where you find them here in the States. And, like customers walk in with these and I'm like, where do you even get this generator? Uh, but yeah, for me this, this generator is going straight to trash. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is the Ryobi 2300. Man, honestly, I don't know where I'm going to put this generator. Uh, but I think I'll put it on in between good and okay. Yes. Um, and why? I own one of these, and this generator has been great. Uh, I used it during uh, Hurricane Fiona last September. And it worked great for me. Uh, I mean, but I'm always on top of the maintenance. I mean, I work in generators daily. Uh, I had no issues. It powered the fridge, uh, three fans, a couple of lights, and sometimes I throw in the TV. Uh, I had no issues with the generator, and it was quiet. Um, it rattles quite a bit due to the handle, uh, the bottom handle. But but man, this generator don't stop coming to the shops. A lot of people bring this in with issues. They weren't as they weren't as lucky as me, I guess. Uh, but a lot of people have issues with these. Most of them are maintenance related. They just let it sit and and, and just rot out and, and they get damaged. But a lot of uh, burn inverters, inverter modules, and then to find those parts right now, they are not they're not making them anymore. So uh, that's one of the reasons I, I have it in between good and okay because I personally own one. It's great for me. Other people, like a lot of people <laughs> that I see are having trouble with these. Uh, one of the big things about this unit is the start uh, run stop switch. It has some issues from factory, which when you start the generator itself, you put it in show, it runs. When you put it on run, it shuts off because uh, the valve just completely shuts the fuel to the generator. You gotta run it close to the C on the choke for it to let the fuel and the fuel pass through and reach the carburetor. Uh, I also had a uh, a friend that he bought one straight out of the box, new straight out of the box. He put fuel in it, fuel won't pass that uh, valve, so he ended up replacing it. Uh, yeah, it, it has trouble with with that valve, but. But I think it's a, it's a pretty good generator. It's just hit or miss with people. So if you have one of these or you're thinking of buying one of these, uh, I hope you are on the lucky side. Let's keep on going with the list. Next up, we have the Craftsman. But honestly, I'm going to throw in the Crafts, Craftsman, uh, the Pulse, and the Westinghouse together because they are practically the same generator, just different brand. And they all will go on the good tier. Go Craftsman, Pulse, and the Westinghouse. All three generators work pretty good. Uh, easy to maintain, and as long as you maintain them well, you won't have any problem with any of these. 
The next generator on the list is the Predator 2000 inverter. Uh, this inverter is another hit or miss for me, uh, but I'm gonna throw it on the okay tier. I'm not a big fan of the Predator brand. Um, I mean, it's the, it's the Harbor Freight Special. I love Harbor Freight, but not their generators. I had a few issues with a couple of Predators, but nothing major. Um, it's, a, it's a good generator. It's just, I'm not excited about, about the Predators. I don't know why. Okay, so we're down to the last two inverters. And up next, we got the Honda EU2200i. And this generator, man, is going straight to trash. Wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. <laughs> nah. Everybody knows that Honda makes the best inverter out there. And these units are great. They're super quiet, super reliable. They can put down power and they're easy to maintain. Honestly, sometimes I get mad they don't break it often because uh, I like working on these and, and every time they come through my shop, it's just for maintenance. In my opinion, the Honda is the best generator out there, hands down. And last but not least, we have the Cummins Onan P2500i. And I might be biased on this one, but this is my favorite generator. So I'll put it right next to the Honda inverter on one of the best inverters out there. This thing is, is a really, really good generator. Uh, I like the design. I haven't had any issues with this generator at all. It is a really awesome generator. So if you don't want to spend the money on a Honda inverter, I recommend you take a look at the Cummins Onan P2500i. And there you have it. That's my complete portable inverter generator tier list. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. Tell me what will you change from this list? What generator will you move around from the tiers? And uh, also let me know if there's any generator I left out of this list that you would like me to add on a future tier list. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.